How does corneal crosslinking work? Well, corneal crosslinking uh, is a technique for strengthening the cornea, uh, and its main use has been in the treatment of keratoconus. Keratoconus is a condition where the cornea, the part of the eye we put a contact lens on, bulges. And the reason it bulges is because the cornea is very elastic. Now there's a very able Swiss ophthalmologist called Professor Thea Zeiler who observed that as we become older, our corneas become stiffer and thicker. And he recognized that that was because of UV light on the cornea, ultraviolet light on the cornea. And ultraviolet light stiffens the cornea. And the reason it stiffens the cornea is because there's a substance in the cornea called collagen. And there are fibers of collagen in the cornea that are so-called cross-linked. So there's, it's almost like a ladder. There's a fiber with rungs between the fibers. And if you increase the stiffness of the collagen and the rungs between the fibers, you cross-link the cornea. So that's a naturally occurring process. Now in keratoconic patients who are typically young, the corneas become more and more distorted. So one wishes to try and stop that distortion happening. Now if we age the cornea of a young person to the cornea of a 90 year old, we will stop the process and in some patients get reversing of the process. And medically how we cross-link a cornea is to use a dye called riboflavin, which gets absorbed into the cornea, and then we then simply shine ultraviolet light on the cornea. The riboflavin will absorb the ultraviolet light and enable the collagen and the cornea to become cross-linked. So the end result is the cornea will become stiffer, the keratoconic process will be arrested, and in some patients, reversed.